On the morning of Tuesday, September the 11th, 2001, 19 men boarded four internal flights out of Boston, Washington and Newark with a common aim, to hijack the planes and use them as deadly weapons of mass destruction. The first plane, an American Airlines Boeing 767 with 92 passengers and five hijackers on board, crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York at precisely 8.46 local time. Shortly afterwards, at 9.03, another Boeing 767, this time flown by United Airlines, with 65 passengers and a further five hijackers on board, smashed into the South Tower, as millions around the world watched in fascinated horror as the images were captured live on TV. Then in Washington, at 9.43, an American Airlines Boeing 757, with 64 people and another five hijackers aboard, crashed onto the Pentagon building. The impact blew a massive hole in the western facade of the Defence Ministry building. At 10.06, a fourth plane, a United Boeing 757 carrying 44 passengers and four hijackers, came down in a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. The hijackers' target was never clear, but with a flying time of just a further 20 minutes to Washington, it has been suggested it was on course for the Capitol or even the White House. What is known, however, is that some of the passengers, who had learned of the twin tragedies in New York on their mobile phones, overpowered the hijackers. The twin towers of the World Trade Center crumbled like a pack of cards in a deluge of debris and dust. The South Tower was first to fall, collapsing at 1 minute to 10 in just 10 seconds, and the North Tower followed at 10.28. The attacks were eventually claimed by Al-Qaeda, at the time a little-known Islamic terror group, and cost the lives of 2,979 people in the plains and on the ground, 2,750 of them in New York alone.